Okay guys, so last time I did share to you on how to qualify and maximize your chances for a big potential airdrop on a layer. As well as their phase 1 and phase 2 task in Galaxy. But right now, they have a phase 3 task. Wow. And what makes this so exciting is that it involves the Eigen layer tested which was rumored to be one of the biggest potential airdrops in the future so it's all about killing two birds in one stone so if you want to dig deeper about this one well i suggest that you should keep watching this video until the end so this is yours truly nomad fury let's not waste time so it's time for us to get to work Okay guys, so we're going to continue where we left off in the alt layer. So right now, we are going to focus on the phase 3, which is restaking and flash layer. So this involves the eigen layer testnet. It means to say, we are killing two birds in one stone at layer plus eigen layer airdrop, okay? For you to get started, you just head over to Galaxy guys and search for Alt Layer Altitude Phase 3 Restaking and Flash Layer. So for this task guys in Discord and Twitter, they are very easy. But so I'm going to cover more about this one. Create a Restaking Tier Flash Layer. So there's a drop down here and it says Restake at Eigen Layer Testnet. The minimum of 0 0.01 RF or STF. And then create a Restaking Tier Flash Layer. So if we head over to the detail guys, so the call to action is altitude.altlayer.io. But guys, before we head over to this website, we need to do the first step, which is restaking an eigenlayer testnet. Now, how do we acquire RF or STF? So right here on airdrops.io slash eigenlayer. So um, this is the details of a step-by-step -step guide. So there are two tasks right here, the mainnet and the testnet. But guys, take note of this. Since it says restake an eigenlayer testnet, so we're going to focus only on the testnet. So here are the steps, guys. So we need to visit the eigenlayer testnet page, and then we connect our MetaMask and change our network to go early F. Okay? If I go right here, so you can see right here, guys, I already have both the Rocket Pool Ether and the Lido Stake Ether. So they are under the testnet. Since it says either RF or STF. Uh, but of course, guys, since this is two birds in one stone, so I'm going to cover both. So let's focus first on Lido's STF. Now, how do we convert this? You need to send go early F to this address that I have highlighted okay so i'm going to copy this one and then let's head over to metamask so i already have a metamask so um i just have to click send and then i just paste it right here guys so guys um there is a warning here you're about to send to a token contract which could result in a loss of funds but of course guys it's okay you just have to click i understand and then once you do that guys you can send any amount of go early F to this address. For example, I'm going to send 0 0.01 and then I click next. Of course, I have to um, confirm this one, guys. So we just have to wait. But if you can't wait, well, you have the option to speed it up. Okay, so it's completed now. So assuming that we already have that Lido STF. So uh, for you to view your STF token balance. So once again, you copy this one. And then let's head over back to MetaMask. And then you just have to click import tokens and paste the contract address. So we add the custom token. And you see it's reflected. And then we just click import. You see? So the next one guys is to acquire RF. So how do we do that? By visiting the Rocket Pool testnet page. So I'm going to click on this one. And of course here it is. So make sure that you have connected your MetaMask and switch to go early F. Now, to connect this one, guys, so you just have to do this and then just choose MetaMask. So let's say we commit 0 0.01 and this is what we get in RF, all right? 
So all we have to do is to stake it. And then my MetaMask will pop up like this. And then we just have to click confirm. Okay, so it says it's on the way. And we just have to wait until the transaction is completed. So um, you can see right here, guys. I can add RF to MetaMask if I wanted to. And uh, there we go. Now I have both the SDF and RF. Now what shall we do next for this? Let's go back to the Eigenlayer testnet page. So what are we going to do is that we restake them. So let's say I want to do the Lido stake Ether. So if this is your first time, so um, you just have to um, enter the amount that you wanted to. So I just have to do the max. And then I click next. Then of course, guys, um, I just have to um, use the default. And then I click next. We approve. So we just have to wait. Okay, so once again, um, it pops up. And we just have to confirm. So it says deposit is successful. Now we close this. You see that my balance is updated on the restake STF here in the testnet. So we go back home. Now I'll do the same for the rocket pool ether. So it's the same process, guys. So I click next. All right, here we go. I just have to use the default. Then I click next. So we approve first. And we just have to wait. All right, so it pops up again. So here we go. Confirm. Okay, so the transaction is confirmed. And my balance is updated. Okay, so um, now that I have both of these, you know, um, since we are killing two birds in one stone. Now, let's go back right here, guys. So we go to altitude.altlayer.io. So I'm going to click on this. So this is the one, the altitude phase three. So what are we going to do is that we launch the app. So pay attention to my mouse pointer and we click create. And then we choose the restaking trial. So we confirm. So um, you can see my eigenlayer deposit. So I proceed. Now it's time for us to create a flash layer. So um... We have the option to do priority gas auction, gasless, or fair sequencing. Let's say I want to do fair sequencing. So I'm going to name this as Nomad Flash. Um, we can only do up to 12 characters of this. So I will just uh, stick on uh, these stats, okay? So um, complete the captcha, I am human. Once we completed the captcha, so we validate the address ownership. So my metamask pops up like this, so we sign. So once we have validated the address ownership, so it's time for us to create. Okay, so it's currently queued and we just have to um, wait for it, you know, until um, it's finally completed. Okay, so um, let's see then. I'm going to um, do this. So it looks like, guys, that um, the curator will be updating this manually. So once this is deployed, guys, so um, we can go back here and then update this one. So assuming that all of these are checked, so you can gain 400 points on a first come first serve basis and it will just enable the claim button right here on the lower right. So there you have it guys, at least I have shared with you regarding the alt layer altitude phase 3 restaking and flash layer in combination with the eigen layer testnet in which it's all about killing two birds in one stone for this big potential airdrop so if you want more details i provided all of the resource links right here on the video description so i would really appreciate some honest feedback from you guys regarding this video whether if it's positive or negative or you have some questions or clarifications that were not covered right here in this video i would try my best to answer them for you or you just simply head over to the official social media channels of Outlayer and Eigenlayer and get in touch with the real admins and mods to potentially answer your queries. And if you think that this video is quite helpful and valuable to you, I do not hesitate or think twice in sharing this to your friends out there, especially those who are so enthusiastic regarding potential and confirmed alpha airdrops, testnets, tutorials and guides, DeFi and everything about crypto and web3 so i do have a question for you did you enjoyed watching this video as this video helped you a lot and gives value in any way and what do you think about it just let me know right here in the comment section so once again this is nomad fury and i'll see you all on my next video